You know cheap beer is my muse. I feel like sometimes there's too much pressure to treat craft beer with respect. The good news is, though, is you can still get blackout drunk on nice brews and maybe even get charged with something. Headbutting a glass window, pissing on the hood of a Porsche. I don't know, be creative. Let's go felony this time instead of misdemeanor. Now today's fancy beers, I'll try to treat with a little bit of respect. A subscriber, Jason Reviews Records, sent them to me, Two Beers and a Knife, otherwise known as The Perfect Murder. So it's going to be a dual review because I'm short on beer jokes this week. And also, if you haven't heard of this beer and I haven't heard of it, then you won't watch the review. In fact, you're, you're probably not watching it right now. Both are from a brewery I also haven't heard of because I don't know everything. I know some people think I do. Out of Mount Vernon, Washington. Farmstrong. We have a can and a bottle, the old yin and the yang, in case what this review was missing was a cliched colloquialism. To the layman, though, there's a touch more in the bottle than the can, and that's all you need to know. All right, let's pour the Valley Gold, or the canned beer, as I go find some contextual online information about it. Go to Best Brewery in 2017 and 18 by some place called Skagit Publishing. I guess that means something to someone. Maybe Skagit and Farmstrong employees. Skagit, is it? The Valley Gold is a golden lager with a 6% alcohol by volume and 21 IBUs. It's a crisp, refreshing lager made to highlight the golden bounty of the Skagit and eventually win the coveted publishing award. Easy drinking and bursting with rich malt flavor. An everyday beer made for and by the good people of this beautiful area. Grown here, malted here, brewed here. And since it doesn't say hops anywhere, your grandpa might even drink it. To be technical about it, I guess, uh, as far as the look of the pour... The foam ain't bad, and it's clear and golden. Cool. Now let's pour the steer, you right, Imperial Stout. Which, I guess that means it's made from real cows. See, this one's dark, and that one's light. The good and the evil. The yin and the yang, like I was talking about. Okay, no, that's not true. No one ever drinks six or seven ten dollar Imperial Stouts and goes and punches a nun. That's what adjunct lagers are for. But the pour is dense with a little bit of creamy caramel colored foam or fuzz as real beer nerds call it. And sorry for fans of my meandering product descriptions, this doesn't have one. So, you know what? Let me indulge you. This dark and rich full-bodied stout is uh, imbued with dark like uh, malts and pairs well with uh, horse meat, twirly mustaches, and discussions about early Cassavetes. Okay, are we at the smell part yet? Yeah! Good. The smell, I think of the Leonard Skinner song every time I do this part. I know that some people at some time thought it was a good serious adult song about sex or butts or I haven't listened to it in a while. But I associate it with farts, you know. Ooh, that smell. First, the Valley Gold Beer Advocate gives it a 3.67 out of 5. However, it only has three ratings. So I guess it makes me an OG when Farmstrong blows up. The smell is similar to an adjunct. Miller Genuine High Ultra Light Champagne is an apt comparison. So, sweet and corny. Next, the stout, sitting at 3.89 out of 5. Which means literally nothing to me, because it's rare that I don't enjoy just about every beer I drink. Except for that one with the raisins the one time. <sighs> the smell is sweet, and let's say has a distinct odor of molasses. Sorry. Aroma, not odor. When I say odor, that implies armpits, and this is not armpits. There's even some vanilla under there, or a swisher sweet if you understand the finer pleasures in life. Okay, let's do the part where I do unusual faces over video of my face for like two minutes. I know, it's my favorite part too. Why don't I talk during these parts live? I don't know. Okay, you know what? Here you go. Here's me um, saying something. Tongue feel is like the light. Done. I think internet beer reviews are kind of dumb, and I guess I'm trying to prove my point. So, let's start with the stout this time. As I drink, it's like... Uh, you coated a very high grit sandpaper with molasses. Yeah, go find that amazing description in another review. That's what I thought. I don't get vanilla in the taste, just an overwhelming maltiness to start that punches you in the tongue with some hops and lays an astringent trail of alcohol as an aftertaste. Think of dog food in a snail's trail, except that snail's trail is the alcohol taste. Okay, you know what, don't. It's dense and made for sipping, but the gist is, sweet, strong, and malty. And now the old guy flavored beer. I mean, it's not flavored like an old guy, it's flavored for old guys. To be fair, this is much better than a typical adjunct because it's a lot more flavorful, even if it's not apparent in the smell. It starts out sweet, sorry, odor, 
And then the hops hit you. Not like an IPA hops, but like a hoppy malt balance. Like a good light beer was going to have that little bit of bitterness there. Like what an adjunct lager like what an adjunct lager should be. You know, flavorful. You know, maybe not because old guys don't have good taste in beer. I, I apologize. The beer forced me to make that joke. It has a clean finish and a little bitterness that lingers. I wish I could offer a more complex flavor profile, but, you know, you're used to it by now. Okay, that about does it. Thanks to Instagrammer Jason Reviews Records who sent me this and that cool bayonet knife that I would estimate has a few kills on it. I mean, not from Jason. He seems like a nice dude. But, you know, before he bought it. I'll link his guitar and hockey-based Instagram below. I follow him. You should. I don't even hockey or guitar. So when this video debuts, I'll probably be in the middle of moving. Wish me luck as I move from Virginia to California with two small children. And hopefully I have enough entertainment uploaded in the meantime to keep you partially entertained. I won't be able to comment a whole lot this next month or so. But if you really need my advice on something, email me or DM me on the grams. Do it up. Like, subscribe, comment, Patreon me, light or hard. Sorry, light or dark. The usual. Thanks for watching. 